Hello and welcome my fellow miner. Today we'll have a look at the latest version of T-Rex Miner, the version 0.24.6 and afterwards we'll compare to NB Miner version 39.7 and G Miner version 2.71. We will be testing the RTX 3060, RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070, RTX 3070 Ti and the RTX 3080 Ti. All will be tested in performance mode. If you're more interested in NB Miner or G Miner, check my channel for those videos. They are already there. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060. As seen in the notepad, I locked the core clock to 1550. I set the memory clock to 1300. I advise you to please read the notepad as it contains relevant info. Looking at hardware info 64, we can see that the average power consumption is 104 while the current is jumping between 98 to 109, which is fine. The hash rate also looks pretty good at around 37 mega hash per second. The very first time you run the new version of the T-Rex, just omit the LHR setting and let it find the LHR number you need. And then afterwards you add it to your batch file so it gets to it instantly. Now let's have a look at the average result. 36.9 mega hash per second at 104 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.355. Not bad at all. Now let's move on and have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. I locked the core clock to 1350 uh, using NVIDIA SMI, which requires that you run it as admin and set the memory to 1050. Please note that my card is rocking Hynix RAM, so if you're running Samsung, you'll most likely be able to run it at 1300 and achieve 48 mega hash per second. If your card has Hynix memory and only has two fans, then you'll be able to do 850 to 900 on the memory. When looking at the average power consumption, it's around 125 and the current is jumping a little bit, which is fine. The hash rate seems to be around 44 mega hash per second more or less. Now let's have a look at the average result. 44.2 MHz per second at 125 watts which gives an efficiency of 0 0.354. That is actually surprisingly good in performance mode. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3070 which is usually the winner when it comes to efficiency uh, in Ethereum Unlock. I locked the core clock to 1025 using Nvidia SMI and set the memory clock to 1300. I often get a question why I'm using NVIDIA SMI and that is because I like consistency across all the miners. Um, considering that I'm testing B minor, NB minor, T-Rex minor, LOL minor, uh, Mini Z and some few others I've also tested, it's much easier for me to just use NVIDIA SMI to lock the core clock. And the day you switch miner, it will be easier for you as well. Now let's have a look at the average power consumption at 107 watts, with the current around 101 and 113. Let's have a look at the average result. 45.9 MHz per second at 107 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.429. That is quite good, but not the best efficiency I've seen. Um, and I would have liked to gain a little bit more on the mega hash. Then again, I'll take any improvement I can get, so I'm quite happy with the result actually. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti. I locked the core clock to 930, set the core clock to plus 100 and the memory clock to 1150. And the reason why I set the core clock to plus 100 is to lower the voltage. If you have followed me for some time, you know that I call this the DIY 3070 Ti and that is due to the state I got it in with a screw loose and within 24 hours a uh, thermal pad for the memory fell out. So pretty poor quality, but uh, it is working now. Oh, and it's from Sotac Gaming. Looking at the average power consumption, it's around 187, while the current is jumping around 10 watts. Now let's have a look at the average result. 159.3 mega hash per second at 187 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. If we don't count my dreams, then this is definitely a record for me on my RTX 3070 Ti. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3080 Ti. 
I unlocked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory clock to 1300. The hash rate looks to be between 88 and 89 mega hash per second. Imagine with the same amount of uh, PCIe power plugs you actually get a lot more uh, power, raw power than the RTX 3070 Ti. The RTX 3080 Ti is always the winner when it comes to the most important metric which is mega hash per cable. Looking at the average power consumption is around 276 while the current is jumping a little bit, actually quite a little. I actually enjoy this card a lot and I'm sure I can clock the memory even higher. Anyway, let's have a look at the average result. 89 mega hash per second at 277 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.321. That is a very nice result and now I have to spend my entire weekend to get it up to 90. Because I cannot accept that it's at 89, that's cheating. It should be at 90. Let's compare the results to NB minor and G minor. T-Rex takes the performance crown when it comes to mega hash per second, while G minor keeps the efficiency crown. That leaves NB minor to fast create a new version so it can beat the other so we can get to LHR unlock 100% please. But please wait until I have finished my G minor low power mode video which is almost done. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. Military grade with two balls of steel in each fan and rubber banana Hynex RAM. I am of course talking about Asus Tough series. Now looking at the result, it's very close between T-Rex and G minor, but T-Rex takes the crown both in performance and efficiency. Let's move on to the RTX 3070. NB minor keeps the performance crown and G minor keeps the efficiency crown. T-Rex sits in between both of them, so still a good option if you want to run pure T-Rex. Now let's have a look at the RTX. 3070 Ti. T-Rex takes the performance crown by quite a lot actually, while G minor keeps the efficiency crown. If you like my video, please subscribe. I make these usually within 24 hours when a new version comes out. Sometimes it takes 48 hours though, but usually within 24. Also, if you have a friend that's using a different miner and you want to troll him a bit or her a bit, share my video with them for maximum trolling. Thank you very much. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3080 Ti. T-Rex takes the performance and efficiency crown. If you look at my T minor result, you'll notice it's at 85. Many can get, and including me, 88, but it requires that I run Hive OS. I have no idea why I can't get it above 85 in Windows running G minor. All in all, a very nice release. Um, it looks like T-Rex has taken the crown in uh, many of the areas when it comes to pure performance while NB minor won on timing. They came first uh, and G minor went on efficiency. So all in all, I would say they're all fantastic miners and choose what you prefer. Um, I myself use a bit of everything including lot miner as well and I'm testing out the new uh, Team Black Miner uh, for non LHR cards as well, but that is for pure internal use, just for the fun of it. Also, for crashing my high OS constantly. I hope you found the video useful and I hope you liked the video, including clicking like on the actual video in YouTube, as that helps me out a lot. See you in the next one.